Hello. Coming up on this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to flush your hot water heater. So stay tuned right here on ES Repair. Hello, and welcome to another episode by ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, flush your hot water heater and get all of the minerals that's built up inside flushed out. A lot of people don't know that it is required or recommended to periodically flush out your hot water heater anywhere between three to six months depending on how uh, hard the water is. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to simply flush it out. The first thing you're going to want to do before you flush the hot water heater is you want to be able to turn off the power to the hot water heater. And next, you want to be able to use all the hot water and use it up. The next thing you want to do is cut the cold water supply off. Now some hot water heaters do have uh, cutoff valves at the hot water heater. The only thing you'll need to do is cut off the cold side. Next you need to hook up the water hose. Any garden hose will work and hook it up to your drain valve at the bottom of the tank. Now right here at the top as you can see this hot water here don't have no shutoff valve. So I had to shut it off at the main valve. Your hot water heater may be different. If it does have a cold water shut off, shut it off at the hot water heater. And then just wire, uh, hook up your uh, water hose to the drain valve. Now you may have to use an adapter or something if you're in tight places like I did here. Uh, that's okay. You can have this drain in the basement if you have a sump pump. Next, you want to go ahead and drag out your other end of the water hose out into the yard. And you want to keep your the elevation to, go to, uh, to gradually go down to allow the gravity to pull the water out of the hot water tank. Now again, if, you're in the, if your hot water heater is in the basement, you can have it drain into the sump pump and then the sump pump will pump out the water. Next, once you have your water hose stretched out, and everything is hooked up and the power is turned off to the hot water heater. Now you can turn on the valve and open it. And this one here I'll have to turn on. And you'll feel it kick in and the pressure released. Finally you want to Switch it to the hot water side and open, turn on the valve. Now you'll start hearing the gurgling and stuff and what this is doing is allowing the gravity to pull the water out from the bottom and this is going to suck air into the tank to allow it to drain. Now this can take a few, a few minutes depending on the size of the tank. Now to help speed up the drain, you can turn the emergency valve and open it up and you'll hear it start gurgling. This is allowing the air to go into the tank to allow the tank to drain. 
Now, you might want to give this about 15 minutes to 30 minutes, depending on the size of the tank. Because it may take a little while for it to completely drain. Now, as you can see, the water is flowing out of the tank now. And let it run for about 15 minutes. Check on it every so and often. Make sure it's empty. And you may notice that you may have some... Uh, white spots or areas. This is from the minerals and stuff. It's in the hot water heater. Uh, this is a good way to flush them plus a good t a way to drain the hot water tank if you're having to change the heating element. Once it's finished draining you'll notice all the little the white stuff that's been coming out of the, the hot water heater. Uh, this is all the crud and stuff that comes out from the water and a lot of it just it clogs up your uh, pipes and it can clog up your uh, uh, heating element causing it to heat longer and hotter uh, that's one of the causes as to why the hot water heaters uh, go out now let's go show you what to do next once it's finished draining next you want to go ahead and turn all the water faucets off and now you want to turn the emergency valve back off. Now once you have your uh, all the hot water valves turned off, you got the emergency valve turned off, uh, now you can go back and turn the main cold water on or turn the cold water onto the hot water heater. See all the minerals and stuff that comes out of the water? This is everything that's in your water tank. And this is what you're going to be flushing out. So you want to do this for about five more minutes to let it get all, all the stuff flushed out of the hot water tank. Notice how the water is coming out cleaner now. It's a, little, it's a lot better than what it was when it was coming out. You've seen all the stuff that was coming out of the hot water tank. So once it starts coming out clear, uh, now it's time to let it uh, shut the water off, let it drain, and then we're ready to fill it back up. Once you're complete and you've got it finished uh, flushing, the water's turned off, you can un just turn on your emergency valve and let it uh, bleed through, let it uh, get the vacuum out. And you'll hear it probably gurgle a little bit, and that's, all, that's okay. And then go ahead and close your valve back, and now you're ready to uh, fill a hot water heater back up. You'll need to turn on the water. Turn that back off. Now we're ready to fill the tank back up. Now the next thing you want to do is go ahead and turn your hot water valve back on the sink or tub. And go turn the water back on. Now you, go, you can either go back to the main valve or to your valve that turns off at the water heater. And turn it back on and you'll feel the water flowing. Now, once you have it water flowing, it'll take a little time for it to fill back up. And once you have it going, coming through the sink or the tub, then that's what you want to let it flow a little bit more to get the air out of the tank. Now, you want to let it run for a few minutes on your hot water tank to get, make sure you get all the air bubbles out of it. The final step, once you have the air bubbles out of the tank and out of the hot water lines, now you can turn on the power back to your hot water heater. Well, this concludes this video by ES Repair. I've demonstrated how simple you, simply you can flush out the minerals and stuff built up inside your hot water heater. Now keep in mind it is uh, recommended to flush your hot water heat out, heater out every three to six months depending on how hard the water is. 
Now this will help keep your hot water heater in a, a top efficiency and you're not wasting a lot of heat and plus you're uh, keeping your heating element to a minimum to where it will last you a lot longer. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.